Boa noite. Eu queria dizer que eu estou aqui com o Sil. Eu acho ele o máximo, eu sou fanzérrima dele. E a gente vai fazer uma entrevista daquelas bem normais que a gente faz no Super Pop. Tipo, oi, tudo bem? Até porque o avô dele é brasileiro, então ele já deve ter o gingado aí do Brasil. See, this is why I have to speak uh, Portuguese, because when I hear you speak it, it sounds like the most beautiful language in the world. You see? It, so, I only said good so things about say, you I to, anyway. I have to spend more time here. You have to. You have to bring the kids. You have to bring I the I would family. love to. It's, it's a shame, you know, but it's the jet lag, they don't yeah. handle the time difference so well. That's but next right. time. Next time, well, you have to spend a little longer. You're not coming in an official business. Well, you come I think we're here for a week and a half. Well, that's not long for the kids. No. Not long enough. Yeah, you should go, like, not work. <laughs> Just go to the beach, take the kids, you know? I would love to. Your grandfather is from, from Brazil. Yeah, he's from uh, Bahia, Salvador. That's where you should go. Right, really yeah. Really beautiful. I should, yeah, I should go there. Did you know that when it snows, my eyes become alive and the light that you shine can't be seen? I happened to go to your show yesterday. Guys, it was great. It was a wonderful show. He looked great, ripped with a white outfit, the music. <laughs> Not so ripped. No, you looked really good. And I, I heard, like, from the crowd, because I was in the middle of the crowd, people think that you're very warm to them. You have this very sympathetic face. Everybody really likes your style. People have said that before, but I think the main objective of, uh, of an entertainer is to connect. You know, that's, that's, right. that's what I really... Uh, love to do with my music and and uh, and also my, my my personality is that I want to reach reach out to people and so um, you know a show is is a real great opportunity to do that because it's the first time you really see the people who buy your music right. who like your music you get to meet them and it's it's a relationship you know every every night it's a different relationship <laughs> Do you feel that energy? Do you feel how they Absolutely. respond to it? You know, um, you know, people say, well, how do you, you know, manage to give so much energy uh, to, to, to the audience every night? But it's actually the other way. That, you know, you come out or you hear the audience and they're receptive. How they and, feel, right? And the, yeah, and they, give you, and they give you so much energy. So it's a, it's a very incredible phenomenon that happens every night. It's a, a huge electricity between the performer right. and, and the audience. So you feel the vibe and that gets you going? Very much so. Even before the show, you can hear the people shouting. How did you start singing? How did you come up and say, okay, I am a singer at the heart? Uh, you know, it's always a strange question when somebody asks me, how did you start singing? Not in the bathroom, I hope. Well, no, because it, it, it's, it's almost like if I ask you, when did you start breathing? You know, you, it's something that you have always done. And the earliest time I can remember singing. Uh, maybe three or, or four. Wow, that's or like my son. Is that uh, my son sings all the time? Yeah, my son too. Yeah, well, there yeah, you go. Maybe it. they can make a band. Yeah. It's <laughs> the only thing that holds his attention. As soon as he hears music in the house, he, he stops whatever he's doing. And, and only runs. one, right? One? It's just that one. You see, yeah. it's, it's funny because sometimes they have for it. Like my son's like that too. Because it's, I guess you were like that. You just had it in your soul, right? Yeah, he he definitely has it in his soul. But he's the one that's most like me. He's so cute. In many cases, he has a big afro. <laughs> He's just so... I don't have any at the, the moment. The girls are going to like... Ah. <laughs> they can make yeah, a band. The, the, Him the boys and too, I have to watch my daughter because she's the, she's cute she's the real cutie. I have, to, I have to watch them. But you have a gorgeous wife, so... Yes. Yeah, she's, uh, she's very easy on, yeah. on the eyes, as Yeah, you very, yeah. But we're never going to survive Unless we get a little do you compose? Do you write your yeah, music? And how do you get the, the sort of like, do you wake up in the middle of the night or you just kind of sit down it to depends, work? It depends actually. Some, sometimes uh, uh, I have a song going on in my head and I can't go to bed or sometimes right. I dream a song and I have to sleep with a notepad by the side of the bed um, or a tape recorder, you know. But uh, my theory is the ones that you remember, the songs, the ideas that you remember, the ones that you, you, you stay in your memory are the ones that are worth... Uh, um, developing. Who would you like to duet with, like if you could choose someone that you haven't yet maybe? In Brazil? Anywhere. To duet with, well, you know, I always think that uh, 
for, or for years, many people said that Sade and I should do something together. But that's kind of similar, isn't it? It's similar, so I don't know if it's a good match, but pe people always said that we should. Should have done with the uh, opera guy. Pavarotti, the what, sorry? An opera, like a Pavarotti girl now, but someone like, that would be so unusual. Your voice is so sort of... I would like to do a duet with David Bowie, I think. That would be cool. Yeah, I would really love that. I can see it when you're singing. It feels like you enjoy it so much. Well, I think it's a, it's a privilege to be able to sing, you know. And, and, boys, and first of all, it's a privilege to be able to do the thing that you love doing, and if for work. If you love doing it, I think that that you're really lucky, you know. Yeah. Um, and and so there's no reason for me not to have fun. There's no reason for me not to enjoy myself. Now you're tall, handsome, talented. <laughs> is your wife really jealous? I have to ask because I would be. No, she she isn't. Uh, you know, she's she's, she's German. Uh, Germans are much her. more content, and they're much more sort of. They're not like Brazilians. They're much more together, right? Uh, she's still a woman. Uh, oh yeah, she, she's, yeah. Still, she's still a woman, but um, but no, you know, we have a great trust. What about this lovely thing that you did for her? I, I thought, I almost cried. She did this great show right after she had the baby. And, whoa, my God, what about it? And then you sang for her on the Victoria's Secret show. Oh, yeah, it was that, so was, sweet. that was fantastic. All yeah. the girls were like, what a husband. We love that. Because it was like yeah. from the heart. Uh, was it something planned? Did she know about it? Uh, yeah, it's something that we, did, we, we, we were so asked to do sweet. together. But, um, uh, you know, anytime I get to sing with my wife, I she mean, was that's, so that's, sweet. Yeah, she was too. She and was she so really, sweet. I was so proud of her. You know, she was real I can't professional. She sang. I was like, my God, I didn't even know she could sing so well. She was a real professional. Real she professional. So yeah, it's, it's one of the great memories I'll, I'll have. I forever. was watching and I was like, what a husband. We were like, yes. Uh, In my heart, a place. I was Thank you so much. Could you send a big kiss to Super Pop and to the Brazilian audience that is dying to see you? Hi, my name is Seal, and I send you much love and a big kiss to Super Pop and everybody in Brazil. It's been a long time. And I'm everybody knows here. his name is Seal. Please, he's fabulous. Thank you so much Thank for your you interview. Thank you very much. It's and been good a real, luck. Real, real pleasure. Oh, real, real pleasure. Thank you. Mine too.